We arrived on Sunday, and as soon as we got off the plane, there was a blistering wind that hit us, and it really was a qu quite a rude awakening from the comfort of that plane to then step out into the frigid temperatures of Iowa. Uh, it is a very biting cold somewhere where you cannot uh, not have thermal underwear, uh, undergarments. I am currently very, very layered up, uh, even though it may not look like it. It's, it's, uh, it. it's somewhere that you need to be, because if you take your hands out of your gloves more than uh, a minute, it is almost impossible to move your hands. So uh, it really has been quite um, a, a difficult uh, place to be for journalists, but also the candidates. They have still been on the road. There were a couple of events cancelled on Sunday, but Donald Trump, Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis all managed to still have at least one campaign event on Sunday. Their last real push to try to drum up some support uh, from voters here in Iowa as they go to the caucus at 7 p.m. on Monday evening. Tell us where you are presently. So I'm currently outside of uh, the media center, which is effectively uh, the campaign and electoral headquarters for the evening. Uh, so Donald Trump, uh, Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley have all been holding their individual events. Uh, but it is here behind me that the Republican Party have their main stage uh, and here that Donald Trump will be holding his what he hopes will be his victory party. At the moment, they're calling it uh, a watch party. However, it is obviously hard to deny that Donald Trump is leaps and bounds ahead of the competition in the polls. The latest that came out just before the weekend was the uh, Des, Mo Des Moines Register poll, which is one of the main papers here in uh, Des Moines, Iowa, uh, and they had Donald Trump with a sizable lead uh, over the competition. Nikki Haley now in second place, and effectively it's a battle for second place between Nikki Haley uh, and Ron DeSantis, who are hoping that they'll get enough of a significant margin to be able to keep their campaign alive as they head into New Hampshire, which will be happening next week.